Hey guys, it's Paolo. So today we have a super duper episode for you because I am gonna be sitting down with the two-time Grammy winner, Leanne Rhymes. Yes, and she has her new album out called Remnants. And let me tell you, it is so, so, so good. So I can't wait to go meet her for the first time. See you guys with Leanne. His life was changed and made new when an angel made his dream come true. And now he brings his dream to you. In a Everyone ready? Yeah. All right. Hi. Hi. I have a big minute. <laughs> Leanne just said hi. Hi. <laughs> um, what an honor it is to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much for trusting us, for allowing us to be here, because this yeah. we've been waiting for this, Patrick and I, so thank you so uh, much. Of course, thank you. Um, I just want to say congratulations on your 16th studio album, Remnants. Um, this album, and I'm not going to say just because you're in front of me, but this album <laughs> is everything. Aww. What you write and the way you sing, I mean, I remember when it came out on February 3rd, it was a Friday, it came, <laughs> you like, have it I, yeah. <laughs> we've been listening to this every day, Patrick and I, oh, in I the it. shower, in the car, at the gym, if I tell you to listen to this every day, it is, because every song on here is so beautiful and meaningful, okay? Thank so, you. No, thank you. But I was thinking, like, when you're in the studio and you were recording these songs, you know, these songs could be very personal to mm -hmm. you, and it's like you and your music, but then once you release it out to the world, do you ever get nervous or like, because then people start analyzing it. So how, how does that feel for you? Um, I, I think for this record especially, I was kind of stepping out of the box a little mm. bit for myself because I was at the same label for 20 years from the time I was 11. Mm. And so I had kind of these parameters built around, you know, contractually that I had to abide by, I guess, in a way. So wow. this time around, I got to just let what authentically was in me rise. And, yeah. um, because I was doing stuff that was different, uh, you're always afraid of like, you know, what are people gonna think? Or, um, but at some point, that switch kind of flips off, and you get really into the artistic side mm. of it. And and I, I feel like I'm almost secondary to um, to the messages of this record because they're really powerful. And like, there's a quote you say about remnants. It is so good. That uh, <laughs> I, I I wrote it down. You say. Remnants are the pieces of ourselves we want to keep, allowing mm -hmm. oneself to fall apart as gracefully as possible, and then picking up the most authentic pieces or remnants of ourselves and moving forward. I mean, this lesson, is, is, <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful lesson. Like, did you, yeah. how did you? It's just something I've been through. I mean, I really, I think we fall apart multiple times in our lives, but mm -hmm. the first time is, is uh, quite complex because I think we really fight it for the mm -hmm. longest of times, which is, God, that's, I mean, if we could learn to just mm. like let it go quicker, yes. let it go, um, yes. and allow ourselves to fall apart, then there's such beauty in that. And yes. in our society, we look at it as, you know, it's the, it's a very tragic thing. We talk about it as such a negative right. thing. And it's really, there's beauty in that, allowing things that are no longer serving you yeah. to fall away and getting to pick up those pieces that are authentically you and building yourself up into something that feel solid yep. you have a more solid foundation because you're deciding mm -hmm. what feels right in that time in your life yeah you said bill and then you know if you follow leanne on instagram you have your inspirational quote yeah. board that you you post daily mm -hmm. so i have one too and the last one <gasps> my last one obviously is this and it oh, says what does it, it say read it leanne. i will build a kingdom for my remnants this is so good <laughs> if you listen if you get the album it's in remnants in the song itself <laughs> um this is just i mean it's i think it's a reminder because we all go through something that you you know, not we all go through ups and downs, mm -hmm. but even when you go through your downs and you're struggling, you can always pull something from that that oh, yeah. can help lift you up. And sometimes people don't see that, mm -hmm. but you, through your music, you have shown that. So thank, thank you. you. Um, Patrick and I, we were at your concert um, in January in LA. Oh, yeah. And I have to tell you, it, we say till today, it is it was one of the best shows we've ever been to. Oh, and I, I look around and I see people, you know, like how much they love and adore you. And I remember when you sang Long Live Love, which I believe is the number one song on the dance yeah, club charts, right? Congratulations! I mean, hello! <laughs> um, and I remember when you were performing that song, um, people were like, I could just feel them like pouring their, like projecting like lots of love to you. Do you, are you able to feel it and do you see it? And I mean, how does that yeah, feel? Yeah, it's so funny that you mentioned that because that's been something I've been working on for myself because I can give love, but I'm really, it's very difficult for me to receive it. Mm. Um, but with this record and especially being on stage, I've been doing this for so long and it became a job for a little while. And I've now found um, through meditation and through just 
changing my perception of things mm -hmm. um, have been able to connect with fans in a different way mm -hmm. and through these messages and through this music mm -hmm. I think the music for me was that kind of uh, it, it comes out of me in a different way because I'm relating to it yeah. in this way that it just feels so powerful and so I feel like it's like this um, someone the other day called it like uh, circular breathing to where it like comes out of me and then it comes back oh, in the same it's, yes. it's really interesting yeah. and and I feel that totally mm. but it's a new thing for me so mm. it's I'm glad that you experienced that and and got that out of it because that's what I'm that's what I'm feeling on stage mm. these days. And Girl, it's great. I tell you, <laughs> gays and straights were there. there it, was, it was packed. Like was I awesome. just there, there's nothing better than being in a room where there's no judgment and there's yeah. just, there's only love. You know, as I sit here with you and I think about you know all the stuff you've been through, the ups and downs, but all the successful things, especially. What kept you motivated to keep going? Because, you know, life is not easy, whether you're in the spotlight or not, but something kept you going to be motivated to keep reaching for your dreams. Is it, is it a person? Is it just you inside of you? Like, what is it that is that key that kept you going? I think it's me. Um, I definitely have never been one to give up. Uh, and I've always been a fighter. And, mm. um, but, you know, I love music and I, I love being able to create and to connect with people. Mm. And I, I think that, um, you know, to to be in such an interesting situation contractually for 20 years mm. and have started at such a young age, like I I felt like I owed it to myself to to give myself a, a moment in time where I really felt like I was doing it for me and mm. doing the music that I really love to do. Mm. Um, and not that I haven't had moments of that throughout my career, I have definitely. And I'm not, you know, yeah. my success in my career has been fantastic. But there's just something that I needed to do for myself. And mm. I, I think making the music that, you know, I really loved and being able to, as a songwriter, express myself and these deep parts of myself that I'm through my music, I get to connect with, with other people as human beings. I mean, I'm not just like this little girl with a big voice anymore. Yeah. I like, have a story to tell. And yeah. Story, that's number one on Remnants. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And now that you know We've been listening since yes. February 3rd. Yes. Some people lie, but I'm not lying to you, okay? Um, no, no. <laughs> um, you know, do you ever feel, because, you know, you've, okay, so you have all the successful, but do you ever feel like you want to go in someone's office and be like, hey, look, I'm a Barbie. Oh, my Bam. God. Like, okay. do you ever feel? So my stepson the other day, Jake was like, <laughs> forgot how it came up, but he's like, you're not a Barbie. I go, oh, you want to bet? Yeah. That's what came out of my mouth. I go, you want to bet? I've been a Barbie. <laughs> Well, so you keep we this one. This Jake, is yours. This is it. <laughs> this is it. This the body, see? Oh my God. And, this is and Patrick, don't you want to say, like, did you want to take one of your Grammys or your Billboard <laughs> Music Awards? I'm like, no. Th being a Barbie is like an <laughs> this honor. This is awesome. That's an honor. It's an honor, right? Yeah. So that's for you to oh keep Oh my God. Okay? Thank you. That's hysterical. Okay, so we'll just sit her right here and hang out with um, her for a while. <laughs> you, you keep saying 20 years, 20 years. Does it feel like 20 years? Because that's yes. amazing. It does, really? <laughs> well, for, I mean, for me, it's, it's such an interesting place to be at 34 to. Mm -hmm have well you know i've i signed my record deal when i was 11. 11? So I can't, when you say over that, 20 years take now. it like you were 11 years old i yeah. mean there's so many people live, trying to live their dream and get to where you are but it's amazing you did all the hard work and 11 years old you're signing you're singing That's you're out crazy. there you're the youngest one to win a grammy you have two of them i mean i'm not bragging <laughs> it's just it's in here okay it's amazing it's amazing it's such an honor yeah it's um it, back then, it seemed like the normal thing, but yeah. now having you know, I have these two little boys around mm. that are that age, and yeah. I could not even you know, I can't even imagine them, them doing, doing that. what you went through. Totally. All, yeah, so Crazy. you know, yeah. now I realize as an adult like how different mm. that was, and what an interesting life I've led. Yeah. Um, but at 34, to be in this position, like I said, where I had the opportunity, which this is it's such a rarity to mm. have had that much uh, experience and success under your belt, and then still be so young to be able to do whatever you kind of want mm -hmm. to do and craft the next sit in my doctor's office this morning he's like you've been through the first third now we're like in the middle third <laughs> oh, and you, you get down like thanks <laughs> and then <laughs> no, so and then he's like but you get to do it your way this time and i'm like that's exactly that's right good. that's good then yeah, yeah. You no know, one has to tell you your way you yeah. know what's good for you i and, do love that that's and good. you know and i i credit that to you know knowing what's best for me is because i know it's not best for me mm. you know i've had to go through all of these lessons and Every single day, I've learned to look at every time I get frustrated or, you know, scared of something. Mm. I'm like, whoa, okay, this is. I take a moment and really center myself back into this is a this mm. is a time for me to grow. This is a chance to grow, and you're constantly presented with those. Yeah. And you can either look at them as you know and, and fall into this oh poor me category, mm. and you know and be kind of um, 
where where you fall into the yeah the fear based way of thinking, or yeah. you can really look at it as okay. Because the fear I'm does dig nothing. Grow. The fear just causes stress. Oh, it's horrible. What does that do for you? Nothing. Like, it paralyzes you. It paralyzes you. <laughs> exactly. Just recently, you were awarded the HRC Ally for Equality Award. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. That's 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 amazing. I watched your speech online, um, and the the beginning of it, a lot of us can relate to when you said, once you start hiding a part of you, you hide all of you. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us can relate to that because you don't have to be gay. It's whatever you like for you when you, you know, you had your issues, I had my issues, but it's like you don't want anyone to go hiding because mm -hmm. once you hide, it's easy to get locked in there. Mm -hmm. um, wise and beautiful words. Uh, tell me, well, like, and it's for so, you. It's so interesting for me because I was always so uh, out in the public and mm. people, I always had this other kind of persona. I almost felt like I, there was Leanne Rhymes and then there was Leanne and yeah. like Leanne got, you know, I, I had to hide that part of me mm. a lot. And so these last several years have been kind of integrating into one whole person mm. um, and not having to be a celebrity or this, like I said, little girl's big voice. This I almost felt like it's an alien child, like just to get yeah. to be myself and um, and know that I could be loved because of that. And yeah. um, and that's it's taken a lot. I mean, especially it's a journey. It's a major journey. It's a beautiful journey. And yeah. that's what it, I write about. Yeah. Um, and your songs too, and remnants, all of them, oh, love yeah. line, all of them, yeah. But it oh. is about you know finding that, and I still struggle with it. You know the the self love, the, yeah. your self worth. I mean, for someone who's you know achieved everything I've achieved, I still have. I'm a human being. I still mm. have those issues. Mm. Um, so yeah. So it's it's, and what's amazing is is I feel like I the more I do share, the more I do connect with people mm. through those real human you know parts of life. Yeah. And through my music and through when I, you know, get to speak about it, um, it it's healing. Yes. It's, it's really healing. Healing. It's amazing how many people you're helping out, like us as well. You ended your speech um, and you said this. You said, I feel like one of my biggest jobs on earth is to hold space for people to feel love and not judge. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be amazing if we all can just do that, whatever <laughs> space we're in? It, it doesn't have to be yeah. at a concert, but it can be in someone's home or especially now what's happening. And that's why I love track eight, love is love is love. <laughs> yeah, I know you got your remix coming out soon. Yes, okay. um, so excited. It's such, the song couldn't have come out at a better time, I think what's happening around the world. That was one of those universal, like, you know, mm. gifts where mm. you're here, this is supposed to be for you. You're supposed to talk about this. Wow. And um, yeah, it just kind of came out one day. And like, literally, mm. <laughs> I came out one day. <laughs> it just came out. Ah, it's it's perfect. You see the metaphor. Yes. It's great. Um, That's but great. no, it is. And it's, uh, you know, I feel like I've been, you, we talk about love so much. You can mm. get, you get really old. And yeah. to have written so much about it on this record, literally, I was, looking at it for a while going, okay, there's too many songs with love mm. in it. But then when I stepped back, I realized we were talking about it in really unique ways and approaching it from every angle. And it meant something. It, mm. was, it, wasn't, it wasn't fluff. We weren't talking about it on a surface level. Um, I think it's things that people really needed to hear yes. at this moment in time. Yes. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty special record in that way. It is indeed. You know, we uh, never gave an award like this on our show, but because you're so special oh, and this, what you I do? deserve this, <laughs> we're, it's, a, it's the first time A Spoonful of Palo is presenting oh. to Liam Rhymes the Love is Love is Love Award. Oh my God, that's um, so awesome. From us, that is that's for you. That's so cool. Uh, oh, my boots look good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we picked that one, girl. That Thank is you. For you. Yes. That's awesome. I got a dog I mean, and an award. <laughs> you, get, you get all this, okay? Thank you. Um, That's I, so beautiful. No, thank you. I just, you know, you inspire so many of us to live our authentic life. You have done that. You've done that for me and my husband. We are here today because of you standing up for people like us because I do know in the music industry, mm -hmm. it, sometimes it's not easy because other people don't see what you see. Mm -hmm. So I speak for us when I say, Thank you Thank for you. believing in us and speaking for us and just for fighting for us, okay? Always, uh, you know, equality and human rights, just like I, I go back to the humanity of everything, like we're so equal, we really are, and we're, and I see that. So I guess that's, that's one of my jobs and one of, like I said, one of my gifts in this world is not, I've, I used to think it was only through my music and through my concerts, but you can do that, like you said, wherever you go, and yeah. we all have that. It's yeah. just tapping into that piece of exactly. us, you know? Yeah, it's so true. Ah, okay. She's got to eat the baklavas that we bought. Her. Oh yes. <laughs> She's got a full They're tray. They're really good. <laughs> okay. So um, it's out. I mean, I, I I don't think I've ever 
like we've had so many guests on our show, but this is something I truly, truly believe in is this album. It's so beautiful. Remnants, mm -hmm. get it anywhere. Um, and congrats to you. Thank you. You deserve every success that comes your way. Thank so, you, love. Yeah, I you're welcome. It. You're welcome. Bye, guys. All right. Thanks, everyone. If you like us, <laughs> give a thumbs up. If you don't, as I say, move to the next video. Love you. Be kind. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Leanne. Yeah, of course. So you're amazing. Thanks. Really. Oh, my God. This is so sweet. <laughs> you have a lot of collect a lot of I goodies to take it. with you then. Spoon full of follow. <laughs> I love you, Oprah. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.